Here's how to set up your metadata set so that you can track everything that happens on your website from your Facebook ads. So let's set this up. You may know it as a pixel. This is what it's been called for years. I prefer the name pixel. I think it sounds better. Data set is what it is now. Just to explain what the difference is, they are pretty much the same thing. And for most of you, they will operate the exact same way. But a data set combines all sources of off Facebook and Instagram information into one area. So before you would have a pixel and then you would have offline data sets and then you would also have your app. If you have an app for your company, that would be a separate data set as well. So now it's all in one. So if your company has an app or if you track offline conversions, which would be that if a customer comes into your store, you upload that contact information back into Facebook to say, hey, that Facebook ad that we said, come into our store and get 10% off. It got a sale. It was this person. And you can upload that data back into Facebook so that you can know that your ad got a sale. And then the other thing is that a data set is better at tracking data from an unverified domain. So under brand safety and suitability, by the way, I'm in business settings. If you go to like adsmanager.facebook.com or business.facebook.com, click on the all tools. I'm under business settings, not settings, business settings to get to where I am right now. If you go to domains, you will see that you will need to verify your domains. And this was actually just necessary for when you would um, have a pixel. If you have a data set, it's not really necessary now. So if you've been using a pixel for years, uh, I would recommend that you keep using that pixel. Don't make a new data set be uh, unless those other features are going to be applicable to you. Just make sure that your domain is verified. Uh, otherwise, you're fine to use either one. All right, I just thought I'd explain like what's the difference first. So let's go ahead and make you one. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to wherever you have built your site, Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, wherever that is built is where you're going to want to start because from here we can make the data set and then we can grab the code, the pixel code to put in the header, but we won't have formed what's called an API integration. And without that, we won't be able to track 100% data. So what you're going to do if you have Shopify, is that you are going to log into Shopify. You're going to go to the Facebook and Instagram app. And then you are going to click connect account there. And this is where you're going to set up your pixel as well as uh, your catalog. So the same place that you set up your Facebook and Instagram shop. We're not worried about that right now. Um, but the other thing that you need to do in Shopify is make sure that this is set to maximum because you will probably have it where this is set to enhanced to start, but make sure that you change this to maximum. If you have Wix, Squarespace, they all have slightly different things, but for the most part, it's going to ask you for a code and that code is either going to be the ID, which is right here, okay? Or if you go into events manager, if it just wants the code or you're using like a third party app uh, to uh, create a landing page and then you want, need to track events, you're gonna go to your pixel, you're gonna go to add events, you're gonna go to add new integration, you're gonna go to meta pixel, set up, and then you're gonna go to manually add code to your website and then you're gonna copy that code and then that goes into the header of your website. You're gonna paste it there and then you're gonna save it and then you should be seeing the data come in. Now, where you would see this data is under events manager and then data sources, you should be able to see everything that is coming in through here. So until that this starts populating, then you know that your pixel or data set isn't working. Last thing I wanna say is that you can't delete a pixel or data set. So if you ever end up where you have multiple data sets in your company and you don't know how it happened, go in here and name it and be like, do not use, okay? This will save you 
so much headache because it is very easy to to accidentally use the wrong pixel and then you're not getting any data and you think your ad sucks and you're not getting any sales. But uh, really in reality what's happening is you just used the wrong pixel or data set. So make sure you just go in, if you do have a, a problem with having multiples, just go in and change them to say do not use if you're not going to use them. That's what I got for you in this video. Lots more to come. Make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next one.